Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have discussed about what do you mean by a heap and what are the different types of heap as well as the different approaches of constructing a heap. In today's video, I am going to discuss about how to implement a priority queue using heap as the data structure. Note that the most uh, the most uh, efficient and the comfortable data structure uh, that can be used to implement priority queue is uh, heap. Uh, in my uh, in my video in my previous video while I was discussing about uh, uh, queues, I have implemented uh, the same thing using arrays. There, I have used the concept of an array to implement a priority queue, wherein you might have observed that. Uh, 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 I have uh, explained two methods. The first method was uh, uh, just to uh, insert all the elements onto queue, and uh, that element which has higher priority was uh, per was uh, deleted while performing the deletion operation. Note that the insertion operation was quite easy there, but the deletion operation was uh, uh, consuming more time. The second method that I explained was uh, while inserting the elements onto queue, make sure that uh, the element with the highest priority was uh, uh, there in the uh, beginning. That was uh, 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 the insertion operation was uh, uh, slightly modified and it was the normal deletion operation. But uh, uh, doing all those uh, things with the help of an array uh, is more time consuming. So the more efficient data structure to implement uh, uh, a priority queue is using a heap. So in today's video, let, let us come up with uh, a C program uh, or let us discuss the implementation of a priority queue using a heap. So if you see, uh, initially I have declared the uh, header file. So my after header file, I have uh, come up with a function by name heapify. Note that heapify is the most generic name that most of the authors use for the construction of a heap. So this heapify function uh, constructs a max heap. Maybe here the algorithm or the function that I have written, it constructs a max heap. Max heap in the sense uh, the root node should have the maximum element. That means uh, the higher value element is having uh, the higher value element is having the higher priority. So to this function there are two arguments. The first argument is uh, the array where the elements are stored and n denotes the number of elements. So in the sense uh, if uh, number of elements are seven. Let me take the number of elements as a 7 and the elements as a 4, 8, 1, 7, 6, 5 and then let me take the last element as a 10. So note that these are my elements in the array and the elements in the array are stored from 1 to n. That is 4 is stored at the position e of 1, uh, 8 is stored in position e of 2, this is e of 3, e of 4, e of 5, e of 6 and e of 7. Why I am uh, why I am storing uh, uh, the array elements from one to n is uh, while discussing uh, binary tree. I told given the position of a parent, if the if the position of parent is denoted with i, then its left child can be denoted with two i, and the right child can be denoted with two i plus one. I am using that particular logic to make this seven elements into a, a heap. So if you see. Uh, as I told earlier, uh, array A holds the uh, elements uh, for which I need to construct a heap and N denotes the number of elements. So these are some of the uh, variables. So and note that the CP5 fun function constructs a max heap. Max heap using the bottom up uh, method. We know that what exactly was bottom up method. In case of bottom up method, what we are supposed to do, uh, I need to have, uh, I need to construct a binary tree first. Four, eight, one, seven, six. This is five, ten. Yes. So this was my this was my uh, binary tree. This was my binary tree. Now, if you have observed in my previous video, what we have done in case of the bottom up method, I have taken the uh, first non leaf nodes. So out of this elements, uh, number of elements are seven. How many non leaf nodes are there? Leaf nodes are seven, six, five, and four. There are four non leaf nodes. The number of non leaf nodes are three. Number of non leaf nodes are 3. So, how to get 3? Uh, divide n by 2, you are going to get it as 3.5, uh, which is okay, uh, 3. So, I have taken a for loop iterated from n by 2 up to 1. In the sense, I, I need to check this 1 with its children. Next, I need to check this 8 with its children. And then I need to check this 4 with its children. So, I need to iterate 3 times. So, this for loop is been iterated for this example 3 times. So I have started for i is equal to n by 2, i greater than or equal to 1, i minus minus. 
k is equal to i k is equal to i i is nothing but n by 2 so my i is this my i is this what is this position this position is 3 because this position is 1 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so my i is n by 2 so my i value is 3 so k is equal to i v is equal to a of k what is my v v is nothing but v a of k k is nothing but i so my v my v is this i my v is this i now i am checking i have taken a flag if uh, uh, not flag if not flag and anyway uh, flag is not set to anything while not flag and 2k uh, is less than or equal to n in the sense okay if this one has children or not i am checking that particular thing next j is equal to 2i so this is my parent this is my parent its left child is 5 how to get how to get the value uh, how to get the position of the left child as i told if i is the position of a parent then 2i gives the position of its left child here j is 2 into j is equal to 2 into <coughs> k k value was nothing but i only so this is my j this is my j my j value is the position 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the sixth position j is 6 a of j is 5 a of j is 5 now what i am checking i am checking if j is less than n in the sense if there is a right child if there is a right child for this j maybe if there is a right child for this uh, one then i need to check which is greater among these two so what i am checking if a of j is less than a of j plus 1 so a of j is 5 5 less than 10 yes condition is true move j j is equal to j plus 1 what i am doing is j was pointing to 5 now i am moving j to the last element j will be uh, 7 now i need to check uh, 1 v is 1 1 greater than or equal to uh, a of j instead of 1 if this was 20 then this was already a heap there is no need to exchange now this condition is uh, false this condition is false. I am coming uh, here. Now what I am doing? Bring a of j to a of k. a of j is a 10. Bring 10. Bring 10 to this position. Bring 10 to this uh, position. a of j is equal to a of k. And k is equal to j. j value was 7. Now k is being brought here. So k is being brought here. So once this is being done. A V is equal to A of K. What was my V? If you have see, if you have observed, my V was A of uh, uh, three, which was one. Now I'll bring one here. So this was one iteration. In first iteration, I have made my right subtree as uh, my I have made the right subtree as a heap. Now this for loop will be iterated for the second time. This for loop will be iterated for the second time. Now when it iterates for the second time, my i value will be two. Initial i value was three. My i value will be two. So this will be the position of i. This will be the position of i. I will be having a value of 2 and this will be my k also. k has been initialized to i. k has been initialized to i and so on. Now I need to compare. Now I need to compare Okay, among these two which is greater. So uh, 7 itself is greater. So this will be my j. Now I will check v. v is nothing but this 8. Uh, v greater than or equal to a of j. a of j, a of j is 7. 8 is greater than 7. Yes set flag is equal to 1. My flag is uh, 1. Flag in the sense, it means this is already a heap. This is already a heap. No need to, no need to change the position. No need to swap the values of 7 and 8. This is fine. Now, this comes out of the uh, loop. Now, the for loop will be iterated for the third time. If it iterates for the third time, now what happens is, this will be my i, this will be my i, as well as this will be my k, i is 1, as well as k is 1, and this will be my v. v is equal to a of 4. A of 4. Now, it, I am going to check, okay, which, what should be the value of j? j value is 8 or j is the position of 8 or j is the position of 10. Among these two, 10 is greater, so this will be the position of uh, j. This will be the position of uh, j. So now, v greater than a of j, this is false. So, I will bring 10 here. I will bring 10 here. Now, 4 4, I am not bringing 4 exactly here. 4 is nothing but V. Now K is equal to J. Okay. My <coughs> my K will be here. Now I need to move the position of J. This is J and J plus 1. So I need to check. Okay. Among these two which is greater. Greater is this 5. So V that was a 4. 4 greater than or equal to 5 which is false. So I will bring 5 here. Now finally I will bring 4. I will move 4 here. So if you see this is a uh, heap. So this is what uh, this 
function is going to so this is going to construct this is going to construct a, a heap this is going to construct a heap so as, as what we construct maybe this take 10 7 8 4 1 3 5 not man. It's not the same. It's not the same one that I have explained. Anyway, this is a this is a heap. Now, if I construct after constructing heap, what I'm supposed to do to implement a priority queue? To implement a priority queue, the element with higher priority should be deleted first. So, higher priority element. If I assume that the higher value element is the higher priority element, then ten should be deleted. Now, better thing is okay. What you can do? Ten is nothing but e of one. E of one. Now, delete this ten. Delete this 10, that means uh, uh, delete e of 1 and now move this 5, move this 5 to the root node. Root node. Now is this a heap? No. Now call heapify function once again. Call heapify function once again and make this as a, a heap. Now to make this as a heapify once again, now 5 children are 7 and 8, uh, 8 should be moved here, 5 will be brought here. So this will be 8, 7, 5, 3, 4, and 1. Now, among these 6 elements, the greatest element is 8, which is direct root node. Now, you can delete every time. That means, deletion is nothing but you are basically deleting the root node. You are deleting the root node. Once you delete the root node, you are bringing the last element in the array to the, to the root position. And you are calling the heapify function once again. So, this is about the function to construct a uh, heap. Hope this is clear. Now, what we will do? We will go for the main function. So, in the main function, My element, my uh, uh, variables are i, n, choice, and an array e of 10. Let me come up with a menu. Printf. Want to create heap. insert and delete or create and delete third one exit read choice One is for insert, that means you have to create the heap. In, before creating heap, first read the number of elements and read the elements. Print f. Read number of elements. Scan f. Percentage d. Next, read elements. Print f. Please note that while reading the elements into the array, read the array elements from 1 to n, not from 0 to 0 to uh, n minus 1. Please make sure that okay, it should start from 1 up to n. Hope this should be fine. I have, I have uh, read the number of elements. I have uh, Store the elements in the array. I'll continue this case one. After this, call heapify function. Call heapify function. If you know heapify function was having two arguments, 
the RA and the number of elements. After uh, calling GP5 function, print and check whether heap is created or not. Print f elements after heap. Elements after constructing heap or elements after heap if I. For i is equal to 1, i will have now equal to n, i plus plus, print f percentage d, a tab space, e of i. Break. So this was case 1. Okay, in case 1 what I am doing, I am reading the number of elements, I am reading the elements uh, in, into the array and then I am calling gp5 function, I am constructing the max heap, then I am printing the elements of the array to check whether a uh, heap is being constructed or not. Next case 2, case 2 is for performing the deletion operation, you can delete the element from the heap if at least there is one element, so note that if n is greater than or equal to 1, then only you can perform the deletion operation. If this condition is true, what is deletion? Print the first element, sorry, delete the first element, uh, print f element deleted is percentage d, which is nothing but e of 1. Because I am constructed, because before this I have already constructed a uh, heap, max heap. Now the maximum element, the highest priority element is there in the root node. I am deleting. Now bring the last element, the last leaf node into the root node. Make it as a root node. Now what? Just I am making this as n is equal to n minus 1. Because okay, uh, once I bring the last element into the root node, I am I am visualizing that the last node is not there in my heap. Now, after this, I will call, I should call gp5. gp5 a comma n. If you want, you can check. Okay. Print f elements after deletion. For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus, print f percentage d, a tab space, e of i. This, close this if statement here. Else, else, print f, I will rub this. After this yes, okay. Printf, if this condition is not true, no element for deletion. Break. This is a case a 2. There are only two cases, one for insertion and one for deletion. Default exit 0. Close your switch statement. Close your for loop. Return 0. Close your main function. This is about uh, how to implement a priority queue using uh, heap. Now what we have done, for the given set of elements, uh, uh, I have constructed a max heap first and uh, I am deleting the first element, that is I am deleting the root node. Once I delete the root node, I am uh, moving the last element uh, to the root node and then I am calling heapify for n-1 elements, which, which makes the uh, remaining n-1 element as once again a max heap. So in next deletion operation, the root will be having the second maximum element, it gets deleted and so on. Hope this is clear. Thank you.